good news, though, is that the fur industry is definitely not doing as well as it has in the past. Actually, if you're wearing fur to my show, I don't even want you to come in. I like that red. That's wow. a chinchilla. The cat you have at home? Think of it. You're wearing one on your body, on your collar, next to your face, by the millions. They cough up 35000 bucks for a pile of dead animals. Mmm, how could anybody hurt him, huh? Let's cancel every order we can cancel. Most of them are uneducated. They've been lied to by people at fur, at fur shops, and, and they just don't know. Whereas some people just go, oh, that's a dog. Every year, millions of animals lose their lives for fur. Foxes, raccoons, seals, minks, beavers, even dogs like mine. If there's money to made for animals, people will do almost anything to protect their investment. It's absolutely consumer fraud. When it's an official policy of the government, it has to be challenged. But it should be illegal. It's private, right? and this is public, and you are a public servant. We can only help but wonder, what does it take to get somebody to wake up and to take notice?